your favorite cup of brew. Join me on this next video. Just got back from a garage sale and I've got a couple of things here. I picked up some uh, ramps, some auto ramps. I've been needing some. I have some old ones that belong to my dad and they were rusting out. But these here are a whole lot more heavy duty. And so hopefully they'll serve me better. So I picked those up. And then I picked up a couple of draw knives. They're both rather unique. This one here is best I can tell and I'll show it to you here in a minute. I think it's homemade. So I don't know what kind of steel is in there. But this second one, I went ahead and cleaned it up a little bit. And it's an ox head. I don't know if I can get that to show up there on the video. But it's an ox head, which is a German company. And so I think this is pretty good quality. I've looked it up and um, yeah, they they go for around 50 to $80. I got this one. I got both of these for dollars a piece. So I'll bring you down here on the workbench and we'll take a closer look. All right. So as you can see, these handles here are a little rather offset, which I think helps when you're using the knife gives you uh, a little bit more I don't know if it's stability or control but I do like that they're a little bit lower but um, I went ahead and put it on the grinder just to see what the grind was both of these are ground very very poorly thankfully not too much has been ground on the back side here so this one here I want to clean up really well and get it sharpened nicely and I think we'll have a good tool these handles I don't know if I can get those off if that will come off or not I have a feeling that it might be a little bit difficult to do but we'll see this one here though on the other hand uh, the reason why I think it is homemade handmade is because it has a couple of lag bolts that are welded on to the end here so you can see the lag bolt there uh, looks just like a, a, a regular lag bolt from any hardware store. They just cut off the head and weld it on there. It looks like it's been done fairly well, but I don't know what kind of quality the steel is. The grind is horrible. It's not even sharp. So I need to do quite a bit of work on that, but I think we can sharpen that up, clean it up, and if anything, might use it but it could also be a loner if somebody asks so anyways i want to turn new handles for this one uh, looks like somebody used dowels and some electrical tape probably because the dowels broke when they stuck them on the threaded ends so come along with me as we clean these up and get them sharpened up and then we'll use them and see how they work All right, I've got this set here so that I can set this up here and it will lay against that belt at the right angle. And I can draw that back and forth until we get a good grind on there. And then we can change it up.
take a closer look at these. I have a sneaky suspicion that this one here is not quite up to snuff. Notice how coarse those grind marks are. That indicates, it usually means that indicates a, a softer steel. Well, if you look at this other one, look how fine those grind marks are. When you compare the two, there's a big difference and the sparks are different. So I have confidence that this, this ox heads, that is a good quality steel. Well, this one here might just be a project somebody was doing in their garage. Now I did turn handles for it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the handles on it, but um, this one here will probably need a heat treat before it can be used very much. So we'll go ahead and sharpen this one up and try it out. We'll go ahead and put the handles on this one here and then we'll do a show and tell when we get done. All right, we've got this sharpened up really nice. It's got a nice burr all along that edge. So we're gonna take our stones here. These are our stones soaked in kerosene. And we're just gonna try to polish up that edge refine it just a little bit see if we can't get that looking really nice i'm gonna try this one here and hide over here on the edge i think this will work best I want to keep that flat all the way across there. I don't know if you can tell, but the burr has been pushed up now. So now we're going to come over here. I'm going to feel that edge right there. Once we've got that angle. All right, we've got this thing cleaned up nicely. Now, see that maker's mark and the insignia there for ox head. It's been sharpened nicely. We've got the burr all taken care of. We've sharp cleaned up the back of it. One thing is about the handles. They're not very pretty, but they've got a set right there so that they won't twist. And on the bottom, they're just bent over. And they had these little caps that went on there just pressed into the wood. And I really don't want to take a chance of breaking off those little ends so I think I might just leave it like that. I might sand these up sometime, but for right now, it's the blade that I want to get in good working order. So let's take it here and try it out on a piece of wood. All right, let's try this out. Just see how it's gonna work. Wow, that's about as nice as a plane.
that it was making there on that piece of wood. It's cleaned up very nicely. You've got the buttons back in place. Like I said, one of these days I might try to clean up this, these handles, but for right now, I think I'm gonna leave them as they are. I do want to put a leather mask, make a leather cover for this, just to keep that blade nice. This is probably the highest quality one that I own. So I wanna take good care of it. I like the clean lines, nothing extra on it. It's definitely good steel. So I'm very happy with the way it turned out. This one here, it looks okay, but I'm sure that that steel is not very hard. So one of these days, if I get ambitious, we'll try to maybe temper that or we'll get a heat treat on it. I don't know yet. The handles turned out pretty well. They threaded on nice and it would use okay. But um, yeah, this will be a project for some other time if we want to do something with this. But right now, this here is what I'm looking at trying to, probably using a lot in the future. So I appreciate you spending some time here checking this out with me. It was a good um, garage sale find and I'm glad to have found it. So thanks so much for joining me. Hope to see you on the next video. If this was entertaining, hit the thumbs up. Hope to see you again. God bless and have a great day.